Hey guys, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. About this one, this is a custom build from Micro Center. Sorry about the glare, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. We're gonna take this glass cover off here. Look at that. That's uh, acrylic water cooling. Goes into this nice reservoir here, custom reservoir. Pretty nice. And we have a good old, there is a 3090 down here. Anyways, listen, I'm going to open this case. I just thought I'd show you. Basically what happened was, is this uh, kind of a long story. Basically the person had it built from Micro Center. It shipped, it shipped to somebody else, uh, his friend or whoever first. He was using it for a while and then this guy shipped it to him across country. Something like that. And uh, when he's received it here where I'm at and where my shop is located, no. When he received it, he went to power it on and it wouldn't give a display. He's done a few things. He's moved the video card down one slot or whatever. But anyways, it's my job to figure out what's going on. This is a Lee and Lee case. I've seen these before. Built, custom built by Micro Center. It's got an AMD processor. We're going to have to troubleshoot and figure out why it's not giving him display. So let me go ahead and we'll just open up this case. See if we can get to the bottom of, of what's going on here. Um, you know, I really don't... I'm going to, you know, take a close look at it before I just power it on willy-nilly. Looks like his radiator there is up top. There's his radiator. So we'll go ahead after we take the top off of there like that. I think we lift up on this glass here and it slides out. Comes right off. Okay, a little bit of a closer look. I mean, there's our 3090. How about that? Looking really good. Notice that it's in the wrong slot. He said that he did have it in this top slot here. When he wasn't getting video, he went ahead and tried it in the bottom slot uh, with the same results of no display. I am uh, just getting the, the feel of the, of the fact, you, you know, usually when things like this ship, this is a heavy case. Obviously, you could tell. When things like this ship, it usually gets knocked around pretty good. Uh, and I, I'm suspecting that's exactly what happened to this. So we just got to kind of determine exactly why it won't give a display. Um, cables look like they're plugged in all right. Nice acrylic. This is nice. It's pretty nice. Come on down off the radiator here. And um, here's your pump right there. And uh, I think this is where you drain your loop. Yeah, Lee and Lee. Lee and Lee case, as I suspected. Uh, trying to get the model of this. I think he's got that written down for me. Yeah, this is a Asus. This is a Strix ROG X570E Gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. And he has a AMD processor in here. Uh, not really sure if he's got an SSD up in here or not. I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, everything looks like it's seated properly. All of the cables look like they are they are in place properly. Um, memory, as far as I can tell right here, looks like that's all seated in properly. Okay. So I think even though it's in this bottom slot here, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to power this on. Okay, there you have the nice little LED display on this nice motherboard here. I've only got the uh, HDMI cable and the power on this right now. I'm not, not going to hook anything else up until I test this. Uh, let's see. Uh, power button. Okay, I think this is the power button here. So let's power it on. We have lights. We have some. Yep, that's white. That's good. 
And it's kind of hanging right there. Green. I see a green now. Getting no display. Oh, the green went away. Hmm. Yep. No display. He's getting his lights and all changing his LEDs, but his motherboard is stuck on one display there. There's your water cool there, your rad. It's flowing nicely. So we'll find out what this one light here means. It's, it might give us an idea of what might be going on here. All right, let's let's power it off and let me have a closer look. Just kind of going by those. Um, there's four LED lights. The white one stays on there, and that says VGA. The third one down. That uh, that stays on white. I don't think that's right. This green comes on for a moment. It says boot, but then it goes off. The white VGA stays on. Interesting. What I might do, pull this 3090 and put in a test card just to see if, um, just to rule out the fact that maybe the card might be the issue since it's stuck on the white VGA. Let's try that. Okay, here we are. Oh, I got this beautiful 3090 out. I've got my test card in the primary slot. Fine, that's all we need. Don't need no extra power to it or anything. And let's see if this changes how this diagnostic lights. See if it changes anything. See if we get a post. Let's find out. Orange is good. Red. Okay. White, that's VGA and green. Oh no, look at there. And he's going to get post. He's got post. Folks, I think he probably has a video card problem, huh? What do you think? Wow, oh, such a lovely card too. Such a lovely, lovely card. So I tell you what. Let's do this. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a mouse keyboard. I'm going to go into the BIOS here and at least have a quick look at, you know, RAM, processor, see what's in here and what's involved uh, with this build. Um, it's either going to be his power supply or the card itself. I'm thinking the card might have got knocked around during shipping that's what's causing his problems so with that being said let me go a step further all right let's power this baby on be hitting delete here we know we get a post now oh look there's codes down there too didn't even see that but it doesn't matter because he's posting now he is posting now okay he's got a Ryzen 9 5900X that's very nice total memory He's got 64 gigs of RAM in this machine. Very nice. It's got an M.2 looks like. Two M.2s looks like. Probably one under here and one under here. Yeah, I didn't even go by those codes down there. I just saw what the dummy lights did down here and it was stuck on VGA. I mean, I would say he's pretty much okay with everything else. Oh, that makes me want to cry. What a beautiful machine, though. I really like this setup. It's gorgeous. See, what, let me uh, let me try to put that card back in and see what we get. Got everything hooked back up. Thirty ninety back in here. Got his power hooked up. Got it in the primary slot, which we know works. Right. So let's power this on, and let's see how far we get. Like switching red that's good goes to white and then stalls and you see the green come on like it's trying to post it's 
we're stuck at 40. Nope, it's still going. Looks like 9E. 9E is the hex code that they're giving there. Obviously, it's the video card. Okay, well look. I'm going to say it's the video card here, but there's one more step I want to take here. Because you never, in this line of work, you never assume anything. I'm going to take this card out, put it on my test motherboard, and hook it up. Just to confirm that we don't have some sort of crazy power issue. Just because this is a brand new power supply does not necessarily mean that's bad. You could very well may have a power issue. Never assume anything in this line of work. Let me go ahead. We're going to take this back out. And I'm going to get it installed on my test bench. We're going to do that now. Uh -huh. So apparently I lost my mic on this particular video clip here. But you can see I've got this 3090 up on my test motherboard. With all known good parts including processor. I'm just going to check to make sure that this particular video card is indeed dead. I have a test power supply, a known good power supply hooked up to that. So we're just going to boot this up here and see if we get any kind of a post. This is the final phase of me testing to confirm that the video card is indeed dead. As it turns out, there is no post on this card. So we indeed have 100% confirmed that the video card is the problem. It's most unfortunate. Kind of funny how sometimes you can trust those little dummy lights on a motherboard. And sometimes you can't. In this particular case, it did point to a video problem, and that's indeed where the problem lies. Hope this helps somebody out. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Until next time, everyone, see you soon.